so uh, as last time we had studied monocyclic uh, ionic systems and we studied cyclopropenyl cation so in continuation with it we shall today study cycloheptatriene cation so let's get started with it now uh, cycloheptatriene cation is uh, c7h7 positive and uh, it has a molar mass of 91.132 grams mole inverse with a melting point of minus 67.41 degree centigrade and a boiling point of 124.98 degree centigrade so uh, cycloheptatriene uh, forms an aromatic cation by conversion of its ch2 group to a ch positive group with its sp2 carbon having a vacant 2p orbital so uh, this ion uh, which is also known as tropylium ion has six uh, pi electrons delocalized over carbon atoms and the positive charge is dispersed over all the seven carbon atoms it is a very stable carbocation and uh, as i have already told you it is known as tropylium cation tropylium cation is so stable that tropylium bromide is ionic in nature rather than being covalent and this ion is soluble in water but it is insoluble in diethyl ether now as you can see this this i have shown you in the white box adjacent to the heading uh, the structure of this ion uh, as you can see a yellow diagram which shows again the frost circle now in this frost circle you can see that the tip of the figure is pointing downwards which is the characteristic of uh, the frost circle and in general what is frost circle and their perception i have already discussed in the last uh, ion now uh, this frost circle has all the six pi electrons in the bonding molecular orbital uh, area so this this resembles the uh, frost circle structure of benzene so it is highly stable in nature and therefore it is also aromatic in characteristic let's proceed further with the synthesis of cycloheptatriene cation now in the first method of synthesis is involving the alcohol so as such the ion uh, can easily be formed by treating the corresponding alcohol with dilute aqueous sulfuric acid up to the dilution of 0.01 normal now this can easily be seen in the uh, adjacent first diagram in the first reaction where the reaction points out at the respective synthesis in the second method of synthesis uh, we see that uh, the ion is uh, synthesized with the help of triphenyl carbenol or triphenyl uh, methanol which whose structure is shown in figure number 1 acetic anhydride you are very well aware of it that is ac2o and tetrafluoroboric acid which is hbf4 that structure is also shown in the uh, figure 2 so accordingly these three conditions react and produce the salt of uh, the required compound which we are studying at present that is tropylium tetrafluoroborate now moving further uh, first in the uh, continuation is the resonance of uh, our ion so tropylium cation gives seven resonating structures 
and these seven resonating structures which are formed by the transferring of positive charge on all the seven carbon atoms that have been shown in the white figure in a square brackets easily explain the stability and good amount of stability of our tropylium cat ion so these resonating structures contribute to the extra stability of tropylium cat ion moving ahead let's discuss the chemical properties of our ion now tropylium cat ion reacts with nucleophiles to form substituted cycloheptatrienes as in the first reaction we can easily see that cyanide ion approaches our positive ion and as a result 246 cycloheptatriene one carbonitrile is formed now in the second reaction a reduction by lithium aluminum hydride takes place whereby addition of a proton yields cycloheptra triene third reaction depicts the reaction with cyclopentadienide salt of sodium or uh, lithium can also serve the same purpose yielding seven cyclopentadienyl cycloheptra 135 triene as the final product along with uh, sodium salt when treated with oxidizing agents such as chromic acid the tropylium cation undergoes rearrangement into benzaldehyde the next two compounds uh, very easily form bridge compounds however the first reaction shows the reaction with uh, water and forming formation of an ether uh, with one molecule of water if two molecules of water are taken then the reversible reaction is also shown on the left side in blue color and in the same way bridge compound with nitrogen is formed on treatment with ammonia now let's consider the applications of our tropylium cation so tropylium tetrafluoroborate is used as an organocatalyst to bring about acetylization reaction acetylization reaction is the organic reaction that involves the formation of an acetal acetal formation is uh, the nucleophilic addition of an alcohol to an aldehyde so uh, acetylization reaction is often used in organic synthesis to create a protecting group because it is also a reversible reaction so once you create a group uh, protect uh, protection and then you reverse back when you get the uh, suitable conditions for the reaction or wherever suitably you uh, want the forthcoming group to get attached so this reaction is shown the application is shown in the green colored uh, where the reactants and products are shown in green color and in the white box so friends that's uh, all in detail study of our uh, tropylium cation i hope you people must have followed and understood it so my friends i hope you must have followed the concerned topic and in the next class we shall take up something new hope you are enjoying this learning experience do tell me your queries in the comment section see you in my next class thanks for watching bye bye everybody